Okay, seeing at 7.15, we'll call the meeting to order. This is for the East Adam Planning and Zoning Commission uh, for November 8th, 2022. I have uh, attendance, please. Craig Brownell. Here. James Curtin. Here. Richard Petinelli. Here. Justin Anderson. Here, sir. Bernard Gillis. Here. Ed Govins, absent. Louis Salakrup. Here. Susan Kinsman, absent. Deborah Langan. Here. Tony Demain. Here. Hey. Debbie, I'll have you fill in for uh, Eddie Govins. I don't think he'll be here unless he's going to fly back <laughs> from the islands. Probably not. Nice. Okay. Uh, minutes from our past meeting. That, you just got them tonight, right? I, I, oh, I, I got them in a package. She got them in a package, but she had like the it was separate sections. Uh, so I had them combined tonight just so that they were, you know, because she, it, the normal meeting part was easy to do, but the part from public participation and identifying everybody and putting it all together was a team effort. <laughs> Listening. Listening and Putting the streets and the names together. Okay. Would people like to postpone this to our next meeting? Yeah, that's fine. We'll review it at our next meeting. We just really received it. I mean, I only just got it in the mail today, too. So. Any bills, Jim? No bills. Any acknowledgments? Nothing. The only thing that I do have to say, though, is that uh, Mr. Romero, when he got home, looked at his work schedule and realized he was going to be out of state. So the public hearing that was scheduled for November 22nd will be December 13th. Okay, so let's make a motion for that. It wouldn't hurt, yeah. So which was that one for? That was for the food cart. The food cart. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Clock hasn't started on that yet. Right? No. No. Okay. Uh, no site plan reviews. Yep. Regulation discussion, campgrounds. So Attorney Willis looked at our regulations. He said these are all commission discretionary decisions. Um, you know, he said it's a, really a, a discretionary part on your, your end of it. Um, we could float it back to the uh, Economic Development Commission because I know they just recently sent me an email asking what could we do to make uh, Wolf's Den conforming. Well, this would make it conforming. See if they have any what further What was concern about them not being conforming? Because they've been a non-conforming campground forever. Forever. Yeah. I know. I don't know. That was just a question I had. And I said, well, the commission is working on regulations. And, you know. I don't see Mr. Kasner here. So. Okay. Is he still on the commission? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to kick it back to him and say? Yeah, let's kick it back to him. Okay. Make sure everyone has a copy and let's review it and we can review it at our next meeting. If everyone. Yeah, I thought it. you were going to send a dra the, the final draft out, Jim. Well, I was waiting for Matt's copy. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we'll review it. And if we don't get it to the next meeting, the meeting after. So everyone is up to speed on it. We know. I've been hearing going. several negative comments on it. You have? Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to hear from the public. But we'd have to do a public hearing, right, to amend it. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Didn't hear you. We public hearing. Public Would it be required? <laughs> do we have to? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, we'd have yeah. to do a public hearing. We have to do a public hearing. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, anything on Muda Center? No, and I haven't heard anything, even though I've been a bump email. To the cog to see if there's any movement, but I'll do that again tomorrow morning. Again. Okay. That letter was sent out, correct? I understand. Yes, I yeah. know it was because they yeah. they acknowledge receiving it. Okay. 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 Entertain a motion to uh, change your order of business. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, Land Use Administrator Report, a.k.a. CEO Report. So I gave you today for just kind of review. 
Lime is holding a public hearing um, November 14th for some changes. One is just to um, prohibit cannabis in all shapes or forms. The other one, which I have to send them, was about the Eight Mile River, but it uh, doesn't really mark up what they have, it, and their regulations are very similar to ours are right now. Um, so I'm not sure what the actual changes are. Um, they didn't know them, I but they, they didn't know them, no. But it, it, it's kind of a carbon copy of what we have. So I'll see if, there's any see if there was any significant changes on it. But there's no, at the top of it, you know, doesn't say what or why. And the other thing that uh, I sent was Roger Nemigrat's last attempt for the Plains Road uh, map. Yes. Sent that out. And then I also created a GIS map of what we had always talked about mm -hmm. as possible other routes around. Obviously, the white is what is you know, in, in place at this point. We always wanted to run it out to Falls Road and Gray Hillwood. I've got an email in to Mike Zuba to say, hey, at least try to give me a linear cost of engineering for it. And I haven't been able to get feedback on that because now under the new grant program, they want, they want it shovel ready. So we'd have to, you know, the town would have to approach the Board of Finance and say, somebody's got to spend this money to get it to that point. Ahead of the game, so trying to get that number, you know, defined. <clears throat> Not doing well. I think everybody's overwhelmed. Um, and the other thing you asked about is, you know, what about the other access down to Brownells? Um, and if you take a look at it, it kind of has to zig back up the hill a little bit to get enough sight line to be able to see both ways. There's just enough if you crossed where Roger ended it with the yellow that you can't see over the hill. No okay. towards the edge, yeah, just enough. So to get 360 feet of sight line to the west, you've got to go back up a bit to get it. But so you're almost on the other side of the road according looking at this. Say that again. You're almost the, the way the zig is. You're almost yeah. You know, but he, the, the reason he had the reason he had that zig, if you looked at the diagram he provided, he's got a slight rain, retaining wall. Send that to us. I sent that with the first batch of packet okay. with all of the uh, okay from the public hearing. Mm -hmm. So what he did is he created a little retaining wall. <coughs> You could take some of the grade out of it. It wouldn't be handicapped completely, but it helped. That was the idea, based on our comments way back when. Mm -hmm. This one, right? Yes. <clears throat> that's as maximum as I can find out of it. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient or not. Let's do it. Paste it off with the traffic there. I mean, then I paste it off, then I re-measured re it on the GIS to see if I was where I needed to be. Paste it off properly for decades. No, I don't doubt your pacing. <laughs> Set it to six inches? Like huh? Sight line is to six inches. Say that again? Sight line is to six inches. Oh, I know. But, you know, we, we don't have that designed yet. Yeah. But I just, you know, if, if somebody had, you know, we if we decide I, I, to go I, this route. I was curious if Roger had done it or something. No, no, he hasn't. We haven't. That's why we kind of said before we asked for anything else, we need to figure out, is this what we want to do? Is it a recommendation to the Board of Selectmen? Do we just stick with Roger's initial plan and go with it? Or do we ask? When are these grants playing out? So they're going to be three years in a row. You have to have it to them by February as to that you want to participate. Um, obviously, Roger's plans that you got in front and the 
numbers could be quickly changed, you know, to meet today's cost. The other stuff's additional work, you know, obviously. So we're running out of time. Well, for this year. For this year. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> and that's what I said about the, the scratch that goes from uh, the post office to the senior center. That's a lot of work. Uh, yeah, that's got retaining cool. walls. That's got tree removal. The edge of the road is not helpful. Right? No, no. There is some right of way issues. You know that you're going to be right on the property line. And there's staircases to people's other walkways. It's yeah. going to be. So that's where I asked Mike since he was, you know, his firm was out there. Did he have a number? And they've just he his response was, "We're swamped on these sort of things, but I'll try." Right on the property. I thought the state owned right 25 feet from the center line. Not on some of these. Not the, I don't know where the line would be on some of them because. I've got every map all the way up and down. There's retaining walls like right on the edge of the road. It's, so it's 11 or 12 foot lane. That's half of it. You want to leave a snow shelf if you can because nobody likes walking right on the side of the road. So there's four more feet mm. and a five foot sidewalk. And if I'm not at grade, I've got to get back to grade or get right away. Yeah. That would be a little bit of an effort there. It is, but it's about half a dozen there. That in the butt to design. But but one of the because yeah. right. it's everybody's front yard. <clears throat> yeah, and it's never easy. No. And well, at we one point we talked about doing it on the other side of the road, and it might even be worse. Well, that's why I had my discussion with with Mike. I said, do we really want somebody who's going to the senior center? to try to be playing ballet with the cars going back and forth twice. Well, we need to get traffic calming on. One well, <laughs> I've been on narrow roads and traffic calming doesn't work. This parking lot today wasn't exactly good for traffic calming either. So I almost got whacked twice and I didn't even try. <laughs> Maybe it was on purpose though. <laughs> Maybe they know you. <laughs> um... When we had originally talked about this way back when, um, we were going to eliminate the parking spaces out in front. So we never really got concurrent. So what happened with oh. putting, th putting the, those in the back? <coughs> yeah, we never got concurrence with the property owners, and so do we Cause that is came state, back. Because that is state-owned property, that, it, th it, that those parking lots are, are on. On the state property. Correct. Yeah. So technically... The state could eliminate them at any time. But they don't have parking in the back. It's not like they're well, not they using could. it. It's it, land. It could, but it's Yeah, there's wet septic and systems. It's there's rough. all kinds of stuff. That it's not yeah. just go back there and throw in a parking lot. Well, I realize that. And there's, now it, there's just two of them that are pretty complicated to pull that off. That's why I think they kind of went for sticking with the front. One's, got, one's got a good parking lot in the back, and it could be expanded maybe, but it's... Because we had talked about quick, lane, you know, quick parking out there for unloading and things oh, like know. that. We did, but it, you know, we, we, I mean, Roger <laughs> and I and Bob Kasner and I forgot who else. I don't know. Were you there, Jim? It's been so many years. No, I, don't, I was met Mike meeting. Moss, and no. we kind of looked at all the thing. We looked at all the septic systems, and that was Roger's final draft. I know the one that needs the parking is got a septic right behind it. Right. Oh, and a big one. If I'm looking at Roger's map properly, the sidewalk stops at the parking lot and then picks up again on the south side of it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, okay, just question. We're building a parking lot for private residences. Under the parking state, lot's already there. Under state it's funds. Just, yeah. it exists. We're going to fix it. We're going we're gonna to give a new parking lot. It's I, I would suggest that maybe getting a continuous sidewalk, I don't know, give us five feet of your land, we'll give you a new paving. Would be a good deal, but I don't. I don't like the idea of not having a, a sidewalk there because you know as well as I, they're going to come up. They're going to parallel park there because it's closer to their house, and they're going to leave the car there for two hours, and now I can't get around it. Nah, that doesn't happen even now. They they park that. They go in that direction there. Well, let's look into it, Jim. Okay. All right. Because I used to walk that, and it was a it was a bad area to walk through to go to school. Yeah, well, the days. sidewalk's on the other side of the road. That's why. And they've yeah, got a crosswalk right there, right? Don't they? Yep. But I'm coming up the hill. I didn't have to cross the no, road. No, I... Well, from I, where I lived. 
You could have gone oh, backwards. Come on. I did. <laughs> I did go through the woods too. I'm just saying it was it was not a always the nicest place to walk through. I still would like to put them in the back because this kind of defeats what we were what we wanted to do. Because weren't we going to put all the drainage and dry everything out? That was the other half of this. Yeah, the drainage, the drainage. The drainage is in this point. Right. It goes all, it connects all the way to 149. So wouldn't that drain everything? I'll take care of all the wet back there. I mean, that's no, because it's piped straight through the, the backyard. It. It, it's piped past the septic, is the way it's set up now. But then it, after that, it blows all over the ground. Right? Yeah, it meanders all in the town piece now. It ends up on the town's property, which is. Yeah, the, the the woods that used to be between the field that's overgrown yeah, now and, and the softball field, field that right. they used to play on. Yep. But I thought that the goal was to fix that so if the town went forward that they could use that, that property. So at this point, you'd want to take care of this area so that when the town got down to possibly putting the two fields together, they only have to pick it up at that point. Well, so yeah. we're looking ahead at this point, right? That was that was the whole I mean, that's, that's, that was the whole thing. So that should dry up this whole area. Uh, it won't dry up the septic area. Yeah, it, it won't. It like, shouldn't affect it, right? Well, it won't change difference. that, but it it'll beyond that, like the part that belongs to this piece here. Yeah, the new part that would dry up some because all that water is just being dumped all over the ground back there. Can we? Street. Can I see the septic on on a print? Yep. And why is it well, making it wet? Built. Is it because it's a leaching field? Yeah, it's coming up to the water table's horrendous there. It's yeah. So where does the water table go? If the septic's going into the water table, where where's it going? It's, well, it's, it's all just heading down. down. Minimum, you know, it's kind of high there, but I mean the septic's up. That's why it's right kind of behind the building because the building's kind of intersecting, mm -hmm. draining away, creating kind of a dry area directly behind it. Actually, all three of those are. Mm -hmm. Have systems right behind them. Yeah. Because those are the apartment buildings. I, yeah. I realize that. Yeah. So, how old are the septic systems? Uh, it varies in age, some, but they're not super old. They're all functioning ones right now. Anyway, nothing's running out. I put them in. So, park on top of them. they work. Newer ones, you can I know. Most of them you can. Yeah, yeah, but not not what's installed out there. That's just stone and pipe. Yeah, they're standard trenches. Yeah, they're they're not high density precast stuff. No, <clears throat> and that was part of the whole discussion. But too. both of them are like five. What discussion? The two Some big phone. ones are five family each, right? And the right. other one's a, a duplex or something. Right? Yep. Yeah. So what happens if you know if you go to put the parking there, then you got to go and rip out the septic and put a different type of septic system in, so it's <clears throat> move it or something. It's it's a standard trap rock and PVC pipe. That's what's back there now. That's there trenches. Now. I don't. I can't remember that. whether it, was, it might be in fill. It might be one of them. I think may be in fill. Can't remember exactly. It's been a while. But they should be able to handle. Yeah, I like that. They'd be concerned about the correct. I'll put the parking lot on top of them. Small, yeah. four inch pipes. I'm more concerned about the pipe, about this tank, as long as the tank's H20. And yeah, but if anybody not, hasn't put it H20. They're not H20s because they, they're not out of the You just need, you need one gas delivery or one oil delivery to go back there and do a three point turn on top of it, and that septic system's done. Well, they're not going back there now, so they wouldn't go back there then. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's designed to fail, it will fail. There's as built drawings, so they can look yeah. them up and figure out what's going on. There's definitely. Well, certain. you know, what, what I'm getting at is, you know, this isn't what we had all talked about. And, and it kind of defeats why spend the money when we're still going to have a parking lot out there when we want to enlarge the, the, the mood is green for the betterment well, of, the, of the town. I mean, it enlarges it, you know, from. Yeah, from the MCA house, house up. And yeah, two where the green actually Three is. houses up from, you know, the Ambassador so. House and the next two. It takes away all that impervious surface there. It takes the drainage down. It adds more sidewalks than exist now. You know, and that was the kind of compromise plan. Yeah, it takes the, the traffic out of that area. Well, I know. They're going to disconnect that road. 
I know. Well, that's that was the whole deal. I know, because no one really uses that word anymore. I Pe know. people used to, but I still do. But let's anyway. look at the septic systems yeah. on that, please. We'll pull them up. Anyone else? Um, no. I think to Rich's point, there should be a continuous sidewalk through there. Yes. You know, that's kind of a no-brainer. Right. To the stop. If the parking is left there. Okay. Anything else? I really don't. No. Oh, we have the calendar. We yes. have to approve. Yeah. Okay, we got our new calendars for the next year. People have a chance to look at it. I didn't see anything wrong with it. No, it looks good. I don't. I didn't see any conflict. No, my birthday is on a meeting, so I won't be here on one day. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, get that off. <laughs> I will. I got called in on my anniversary one year. Yeah. Yeah. New Hampshire wants an anniversary. What about my wife? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, when I was in the, uh, that, that gave me the form to make sure that this was done. Oh. I was like, I, I think we already did it. <laughs> it was done up, so. We so were all usual this? except for the second one. Right? That's yep. the one that's automatic. That's correct. The ones I don't want to be at. <laughs> When's your birthday? Mine's on there. Yeah. Yeah. April 25th. That's my birthday. So. <laughs> that looks like birthday is cool. Why not? Anyway, she says, Hey, birthdays. I'm on there. So. <clears throat> okay. Um, any updates on your uh, project down in Center of Town? Oh, no. Actually, uh, meeting tomorrow, uh, Thursday. And, um, you know, the guys. Things happen. No, and we're just we're working on uh, looking stuff. into uh, uh, getting a consultant for the TIF, creating that uh, district, the tax district around that redevelopment area, and uh, having discussions with some property owners are showing up and talking about their opinions about things. But we have ways to go before there's really action. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, after this next meeting, we might have a little more to report. Okay. I see. I see it is uh, changing <coughs> hands. <coughs> Pardon? Changing hands? Yeah, it's sold. sold. It's going to be done by Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, but there's a new restaurant coming in. So. Same thing, yeah. I didn't even know it was on the market. Been, not been out sale. for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Coming into the winter months, it's going to quiet down. If there's anything people would like us to, to start to work on, let me know, or Jim, and we can start to add it to our calendars to start working on. Anything anyone would like to talk about at this point? To zone? Well, the uh, event centers, I think, uh, popping up in, you know, mini farms and stuff, I think we need to discuss where that's going. Oh. Um, has nothing to do with what's going on here, but uh, I'm just saying this is something to look at. And <clears throat> how many mini farms are there? A lot. No. How many? Li how many large farms are there? Yeah, but I'm saying that some are mini farms that want to be event centers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay. Yeah, we need that's to a make lot a, of event centers. We need to make a dis. Well, that's what we need to discuss and look into. Well, that's changing the regulations because it's all allowed under. Right now, it right is. now it's all allowed. Right. Just, just like small business, you know, home occupancy, <clears throat> we we 
we've ranged that and given different permissions based upon size and location. It might be worth looking at the farm stuff. We are getting a lot of special use applications. Okay. Maybe we don't do anything, but you know, it's quiet. We can look. Yep, that's fine. Start to look at that, Jim. Do it <coughs> yep. along the same lines, please. And how's that sound? Yeah, I think uh, to start off with just a good breakdown between the hobby farms and the real farms that are yeah. with more acreage, you know, larger and producing. Uh, as like a four acre far or a three acre farm as opposed to a 60 acre farm. Exactly. And they, okay. Yeah. Sure. No. That's fine. Location. Town roads, public roads, state roads, yeah. same kind of criteria we're looking at with the home occupations. And, yeah, and the zones, you know, that they're in. So, okay. And how many event centers do we have? Else? I mean, all the resorts could be considered that, right? Anything? Yeah. Well, the, the event park centers. Park. I mean, we have oh, all yeah. the resorts. No, actually. How many do we have already? Yeah. Sometimes the, the public hearings? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. No? Okay. I can a motion to take a recess till 8 o'clock. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. You can't have a public hearing till 8 o'clock. <laughs> so we can move the public hearing. Microphones are all on. No. on the computer at their last meeting. I don't remember I asking. Passed out too. Okay. I think what we need to define is what constitutes this okay. Yeah, we need to dial down and, and do the same thing we just did with the This is a revised one. This is the updated one. We know you're talking about it. Need to yes, define what's allowed. Everybody's on the same page on that. Forty-two. I'm okay with the farm too. Jim, are we working on getting the capability of Zoom for these meetings? Someone could. You don't know. Did you put these in? Yeah, I did all those. Those are owned by more. Well, I did it by Danny, Danny. But Mike owns them now. But Dan, when Danny wants owned them, I put in the system for all those. Uh -huh. It was yes, Dr. Burrow's office. They own that one. And then the other one's called the Advertiser. Hmm. You used to make house calls at night. Yeah. 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 I know I had a collapse long in 1980. Yeah. I like that. Well, Especially, you know, Lou would just have the flu. It would be nice to, you know, have Zoom. I'm doing all my, my gateway and my river cog by Zoom. I love it. They keep talking about meeting in person. Like, <laughs> I'm fine in my sweatpants. I'm just having a pretty little screen saver in the background. So it's nice to have an option. What's that? You remember it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Lou said, you know, we've come a long way from the Grange Hall meetings, so why not? Yeah, I still have one. Yeah, yeah, made yeah. Of kept that. I don't know where it is, but I, yeah. I know. And, you know, what if the roads are icy and you know, somebody wants to stay home? But people didn't realize it was killing Remember my sister came I mean, they knew it wasn't doing any good. Do you, do you think we need to start with Irene? Um, can we just, just initiate? Film, film me in on my this. This is well, my father didn't smoke in the house. Oh, so she's just like smoking and they allowed it. Well, um, a lot of boards and commissions are doing hybrids where. Uh, I just smoked off and on, but I would. You know, if you're sick or the roads are icy. I didn't even smoke in my apartment. Uh, 
That's you can, uh, you can participate mm -hmm. maybe via Zoom. Um, I mean, there's something to be said to, to be in person, but, you know, like you were sick, but maybe you... So, Jim, you know how some deer... I, I don't see why areas, we just can't do it. The, uh, the bucks Zoom? take on us. Yeah. Uh, we could just so do it. Be, so they're usually kind of, kind of the same. Yeah, so around so my you know, house, they always have to come out and around and in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with winter coming up. Got a trail cam up on it. Totally different. Uh, New gene pool moving in. Trees down, can't. <laughs> blew my mind when I saw it. Uh, we had a, a sick dog that <laughs> couldn't be left alone, otherwise, there'd be a big mess to clean up. <laughs> I mean, my dog. <laughs> we should be contacting the IT person in, yeah, I think that's like that. in town here going on. and have him. I mean, my, my lay out what account. it takes. Some of them get so tight to bring us live. Otherwise, we would just guess. It. <coughs> yeah, well, I'm, I mean, it's. I don't think it's a lot of money. I, I can't thing. see. That's right behind my barn. I don't know. The wood back there. I thought that was a good one. There was a deer in Conesfield. It looked like it was mm -hmm. all important. Oh, okay, man. It's weird. Nothing. Nothing from our area. We've been doing oh, that Zoom yeah. on the river yeah. I did the it library. all through the pandemic. Yeah, the library's been doing yeah. Zoom meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Got out of the vehicle, and I said, okay, Larry, where it's are not, you? Uh, it's I not the yeah. amount. Just oh. need an account. He was good for that. And it was on in. be invited. And, it, was, yeah. it was early. It was early. Let's get up to, to speed with the, the Zoom yeah. culture. Different. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Once in a while, they get booted out of a section yeah. by the yeah. Yeah. So We should, uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, they move yeah. on. They have to yeah, we'll see if she could give us permission to have the IT guy fishing, right? maybe come in here and I pitch it somehow. I went on Sunday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. how'd you do? I did okay. What it takes. I had never gone uh, black fishing before. Oh, it's it's no. different. It's a pain in the neck. It can be, you know, nibble. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'll tell you, um, Dakota Urban, he must have lost 30 lures on the same rock. I lost two. I felt bad. But then, don't worry about it. He's lost almost 30. Yeah, they cut you right off. If they grab the line, they'll stamp it on the rocks. So they know how to or if you get it caught in between the rocks, so you that's because you're, you're fishing the rocks. Yeah. That's yeah. what you're fishing. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. cooked it up last night and it was really good. I thought my oh, children and I really liked it. My wife and uh, my daughter. Fishing. Not everybody. But it sat for an hour. So that's like people that don't like shad and stuff. And I love it. I like shad, but a lot of people don't like it because it's uh, definitely uh, shad's got you know, it's, it's shad's in that same thing with bluefish. It's bluefish, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very similar. Yeah. Yep. I like them both. Much, uh, much smaller. Oh, I was asking, do you think it's. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is a rich question. Is that in our purview to. So, last year. So they start the Chester and they immediately cross the river on the ferry and then 300 bicycles are so there were, um, in the traffic in East Haddon. Five, <laughs> it's not technically in five or six $50,000 winners in Connecticut. Is that for review that if... You mean I should um, look? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I've bought tickets sometimes and have a stack of them. Well, it, it should be if it's going to impact communities. The guy I work with bought five hundred dollars worth. No, no, jeez, that's, that's, like, that's no. coffee or beer. He has a platinum card in Foxwood. So. Oh, of the time that's what he does. Like Put it this way: he's a stage if, four. If, if it was up to me, I'd send him all to the river. A heart attack survivor. Playing on borrowed time anyway. Let him go. <laughs> well, it's kind of informal. I mean, you could ask me. It's an informal question. I was the best. On one ticket of five, I had two. That's not the whole thing.
Bicycles. They don't spend any money. They're, uh, they're considered vehicles. They have the same yeah. they, uh, they just fly right So they don't need permission. Oh, to, uh, but they also have to. They also have to abide by. They, they do. Technically. First time we've had It's a whole other story. Don't listen to guys. Yeah. I mean, I watch the videos and they well, absolutely love I, I go to public hearings going through our east side of our I'm leaving work. I'm not going to work. And everybody's like, oh my God, that was amazing. Really like, I wouldn't go beyond like McDonald's. And I usually go to McDonald's and I'd be like, I get pissed. I'd show what benefit you're going for. And I'd be sitting there. Yeah, they said they... they, they we only went uh, eight o'clock. It's been that for so long, and we were doing it so that we could get rid of like we did tonight. We got rid of all our business that we don't have a lot of play. Normally, we have a few things, and we get it all off of the table before. So when we're done with the public hearing, we can exit. The money well, wants to go back and start working on stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, public hearing, though, you know, it's them, but it doesn't matter. Public hearing, though, you know, it's the way past 7.30, you know, you know, because they were getting their business done. Public hearing oh, started, oh, they started, started after that. Yes, yeah, you could, it's like, could start after, so you just can't start ago, early. Like, it's early. Like, so set it for 7.30. It only doesn't matter. Now it's grown to... Oh, you can start at 7.30. So when I travel in here, yeah, stuff that way. Yeah. but then you know you get done with public hearings. I find that when I go the back and go to like the like the the Tuscan campgrounds and stuff, you're just like, like gone. Let's go. There, on. they have uh, breakfast in the morning and they go out. There's a lot of cyclists and hikers come in. Okay. There's always a chronic. They take complaint. all the food. Yeah. Output of the day. They take all the eggs, oh. the fruit. So they, they go through there like some Somali. Is anybody going to pick for Lake Lily? That's what they do. It's rippled. No, they, they, they lowered it for to maintenance. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah the river's ripping. But you know what I'm saying? First? Yeah. Yeah, well, they yeah. fed it. Yeah. So they fed the residents. Yeah. So they fed the residents. I think Lake Property's in the dam. It's a kind of dual effort. Those monitors are really good. Obviously. Well, good question. But they went down fast. Yeah. But you know what? There's not a lot right well, the There's not a lot of feed. I'm so glad I floated everything I up because I went the, the next weekend and it was high and dry. Right, and I can't mm -hmm. say. Do you want to ask you about anything on the like reservoir drop? The, I haven't heard anything. That leaves and I'm like, because I'm now I'm dumping Pickle Lake into it, so it's not going down. You know, you need. Uh, Rosada wants me to do that one. Yeah. Digs for his wall along his water. He's got a permit for that. Yeah. 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 So I was kind of hoping it would go down for a little bit. I, I think it's going to go down. I just don't think it's going to go down. It's going to go down two feet. I don't think it's going to go down. Well, two is a lot. For yeah. As far as yeah. 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 bike paths go in Europe, it's wanted for. Yeah. In the big yeah, cities, they have yeah. bike But I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 I can only no. speak for the places I've been. I mean, you see more. Like once you get into it's like you're once you get out, out of the big town, you're not doing that. So what are you doing? Right. About yeah. Two feet would be for all the construction. That would make a big difference to doing his thing. Yeah. I want to you know, take like that, that going on before we do that well, stuff. That's good. That's good. good. But just to turn out in general here, I mean, for uh, get all the beyond work done. Five years of looking here. Yeah, well, that's a different thing. But the thing is, what does that mean? It's like the grand operation. It's not because enough people want change. This is a non compliant change. But you know, are you saying that Amsterdam is a place to go out there. This guy's bike, 
Last time I was in Dallas, it was years ago, I worked for IBM, it was over 100 degrees. Yeah, I took pictures of 113, but it's dry, so it doesn't feel too bad. We're insulating too, though. You're insulating it, so it has that shield. So that's where John is now. Is that shield is insulated. Oh, you're right. 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 You're a while ago. Yeah, I remember because uh, it wasn't that we really couldn't put parking lots behind the building. Some of them we could, some of them we can't. Because once you start blacktopping, you take away the permeable surface. Have it here, so what's the difference if it's there or here? Well, it's, it's drained. Yeah, it looks like it's quite a challenge. Yeah, but we've got a condition where I've got the tunnel section. At least you're picking up a little bit over here. Yeah. And some of the And some of the people don't want their backyard. Yeah, I mean, kids probably have a place set back there or something like that. Yeah. Key on it and drop down. All these are gone. Yeah, I wonder if there's a letter on file of each of these owners. Well, you know, this has like an effect of selling their house when they have like no backyard. They're matching the drop the road and then every 75 feet it comes down. I'm tying to, I, I use slotted terrain. So I don't have to dig up the uh, This is extra. 
If this is town property, I mean, property, the state doesn't have to, you have to provide your own parking. Yeah, I'm wondering if the land is like the beginning and how they have a 759. Okay, seeing as 8 o'clock, I'm going to call the meeting back to order. Uh, we're going to start the public hearing section of our meeting. Could I have a call, please? <coughs> the East Adam Planning and Zoning Commission will hold a public hearing on, a, on November 8th. 8th. November 8th, until yep. October 25th. Uh, at 8 p.m., I got that. Right. Municipal Office Complex meetings rooms 1 and 2, 1 Plains Road, Moodus, Connecticut. They're the following. Last week's, I have last month's call. I gave you the, I gave I know you, you did. I don't know where it's Okay. <laughs> just, just read the second one. The second one. 22-06, 46 Lake Hayward Town Road, property, loca uh, property location. Jeffrey Savitsky and Jessica Stone, applicant and property owner, special exception review for accessory uses to a farm. At this hearing, interested persons shall be heard course and correspondence received. Questions or comments about this application may be emailed to jventress at easthadam.org during the hearing. I have one better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we have, Jim? Uh, so, since that time, and you had received a couple additional copies today, but it was also mailed, there was three additional letters that were in favor, three additional letters that were against, one additional letter that said they were in favor of activities on the farm. So I guess I put that in the middle. Um, you have those those copies with you, so again, they kind of mimicked what was said at the last public hearing, so there was no great new information with it. Uh, the applicant has submitted a revised sheet of to review uh, of events, and probably best to hear the applicant. Um, sure, go ahead, Jess. Oh. series, which happens four times a year, and just put them in one category, and it's the same event repeated in different seasons. Um, and I just tried to, like, look down at, like, the actual numbers for things that we project to do and try to put numbers that were realistic for us to pull off um, and do in relation to that respective event. Um, so there's not really anything new, except it's just, it really reduces, it shows you that there's actually not that many events. In my opinion, it looks a lot less, like to be a lot less than it looked like before, just based on two pieces of information. I don't know how else to say it. I'm sorry. It's just, it's a simpler format. Okay. Most all of these events, except for the uh, Nutmeg Nor'easter, you can accommodate the parking on your property, correct? Correct. Okay. You have small weddings listed here. What are your thoughts on the number of weddings that you would like to possibly start off with if it was granted to you? Okay. Uh, just a couple, like two or three, maybe tops a year. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I might as well include, for the record, we did have an on site meeting on Sunday at 12 o'clock, and uh, Deb was there, and Susan Kinsman, and Rich, and myself, and Tony, and Bernie were present. And we walked, we looked at parking, you know, everything on this map that we started out in the field across the street there and looked at that area that is called out for parking. And we looked at access and another way they have into the lot from uh, the lot there of sight line. Then we walked back through the site and took a look at the music area designated as music and food court. We looked at that as its location. Then we walked from there back to the area for the portalets, that concrete pad that's off their property, but was designated for the portalets. That's for that big event. And they have a that's a pretty big concrete slab there. So then we walked uh, back toward the, and looked obviously the camping area is wide open, the area designated for camping. 
And uh, then we walked back over to the uh, main barn and looked at that, and that's where we adjourned from. So, just for the record, that we did take a look at everything there. One thing we, we, we did note a couple of things in the field. One is if we were to grant the parking across the road on the town property, and they have to get the permission from the town, understood, um, the proposed access at the corner is really bad. Um, zero sight line. But there is a second one um, westerly on, sorry, what road is that one? Town Road. Town Road. Town road. And that had very good sight line. And we'd recommend that access to that overflow parking be moved there should this be granted. Just to clarify that, you're speaking about this right. area as right. opposed to this right. area. Right. Yeah, there's, there's access somewhere over here. For the record, I went out on Saturday. I wasn't able to make it on Monday, but I didn't see anyone, so I just kind of walked around the, the barns and stuff. I didn't go to the fields and stuff, but I got a good feel for what was out there. Um, Jim, some questions that come up the last meeting. Were you able to look into those? Not a lot of them, no. I didn't get to that. Okay. I figured I'd bring that as part of the final report. Okay. Okay. So I, I have one question on your revised chart. So you, you give up, you know, you give the, the number of events, and that's good. We can work with that. The one that isn't really nailed down is classes, workshops, school field trips, homeschool programs, summer and after school programs. And what I, I'm wondering if this wants to be really be two categories, because you've got 20 to 100. So I'm assuming 100 is like a. Sorry, 20 to 100 people? Yeah. OK, I just want to make sure I understand. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, because the number varies. And I can understand that. You don't know how many, how many times a school wants to go. Right. I'm assuming 100 is a school. You're not doing that for a class. 75 or 80 because there's like limitations on like a number of, number but, of teachers. Per right. What are you bringing for a class? You know, you're doing workshops. Is that the 20? Yeah. It could be a low number. It just depends on the type it is. Like it could be a beekeeping workshop or it could be cheese making or it could be so a wreath workshop. If you have a workshop, what's the biggest one you, you would have? What, what's Probably the, the school group. But understanding the school group is different. That's okay. So you're okay. You're Sorry. opening up. I'm going to do beekeeping. Yeah, it really. Open I to mean, general public. Right. I wish I. I wish I could really drill down, but it's hard because certain events, like you have to have a certain amount of space per person, depending on what they're doing. If it's a class and people are just sitting in chairs, you can invite more people to come. But if you actually have to physically do something, you need everyone to have a workspace. So workshops would be a fewer people. And again, and then then you know, if you have like a, just a lecture or someone coming, a speaker coming. And you would have more people in the room and chairs listening. So that's why it's varied because it is kind of lumped together. Uh, we don't have all the facilities we would want for that at this point anyway, but it's something that I would put on the event schedule because it's an event we're looking at doing in the future. So it would be like outside or in the harvest barn, it would be one of those spaces for now. Have limitations as well in the of the weather. You know. So that's why it's not super clear. Any other questions or comments from the commission? Um, yeah, let's start off with, um, as far as parking goes, you have six events that say field edge. Yeah, that's the stone wall when you come up the driveway. The 55. On okay. the, yeah, that the park, the farm stand Mr. parking. Mr. Savisky is just allowing you to park on the fields during this event, during this nor'easter. Event. That was the only event that we yeah. were looking for that for. Now, you have no mention of showers here, so right. have you taken that off the table? No, we just have to explore what that actually means. It sounds like there's a trailer that exists. Yeah. Like, in other words, you can rent a trailer, which I didn't, I didn't know, um, and now I do. Like, just like you can rent toilets or, you know, fancy bathrooms in a trailer, you can rent showers in a trailer. So yeah, these if that's are, a requirement, then that's what we would do. These are relatively large trailers, and 
Yeah, I've, I've honestly never seen a shower trailer. I've heard they exist. I've tried to research them, but I haven't seen one in person. They're also expensive. Yeah. Um, the farm kitchen food truck mm -hmm. is coming breakfast on the farm. Yeah, it lives on the farm, so it's parked there. Yeah. Um, I take it they have certification from mm -hmm. public health. Yeah. Okay. That's your truck itself, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're not allowing any, um, you don't want any uh, campers pulled in there. This is all tent camping overnight? For that specific event? <clears throat> no, yes. For the nor'easter? Just, yes, I just want it to be tents. Just tents? Yeah. Now, would that include camper vans? Ideally not. <coughs> oh, I told you we be tents. I don't see how you have any control over camper vans if they show you up. Just say no. They, have, they would have to tell you in advance. Yeah. Like there would have to be like the registration process. And do all the bikers stay overnight? No. No, a lot of them just participate during the day for the cycling event or they come back for like an activity like a dinner okay. or to plant garlic or to prep the field or to plant cover crop or to listen to the speaker come who's um, Peter in town, like something like that. So there's some of them that will stay because they have nowhere else to go. Okay. All of the state parks are closed for the season at that time of year. Yeah. All of the, um, like there's some Airbnbs now. There's a lot more of them that used to, that, that exist now, but they didn't before COVID. It was hard to, few and far between. Okay. So like, but people, some, now there's actually a lot of them who bought houses in the area since COVID. So some of them will let others stay. So some of them will stay in the area. Some just go straight home. Some are driving distance, some are flying. And then some will stay in. And usually they come in a few people in a car. So, so in the two events you did have, uh, how, what's your estimate for how many tents were pitched? How many people stayed? Honestly, I probably like 100. 100 people or 100 tents? tents. 100 tents. Yeah, that's about what it seemed. It doesn't look like that from the photographs. Does it look like less or more? Less. Okay, it might be. I'm just, I'm just guessing because I, I think, I know that it's, the cyclists, they don't all stay. It's not, it's, it's only for people that really need to stay. Okay, that was my point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would just guess that that would be the max. I don't there, really know. And there's going to be no activity, absolutely, in, it, in the two fields that are to the, uh, the east of your farm. No, no, I, I don't want anything. Because there. there was before. Yeah, there was once in one of the fields of parking. We had to outline it and figure it out because we didn't want it down low. We wanted it up high where all of the compaction is from this just decaying. A loaded wagon is 5,000 pounds. Yeah. And it drives on and off constantly. Last but not least, you said that there would just be acoustic music. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine a wedding with just acoustic music. That yeah. was mentioned in the, uh, from the audience last time. Okay. Uh, I think if we were to approve this, we should put some kind of wattage level on the amplification. Because uh, I can't imagine not having a entertainment at a wedding that doesn't have at least a one amplifier and a microphone. So uh, okay. that's something I think we need to do. We did about. that at Smith Farm, right? Mm -hmm. We put a restriction on the yeah. noise level at the um, at their property line. Yeah, it, it's more the wattage of the, the amplifier. Yeah, the Anything decibels. Over 100 can be really loud. Yes. And under that is... And there's no blockage out on where they are. There's no trees or anything, so well, sound carries. Well, looking at the layout, it seems like uh, directing the music more towards the uh, Chagru open space would alleviate a lot of the noise problem. And, and in the letters that we got, there were some people that spoke about loud noise, yelling, screaming. Uh, and then Mr. Harrington, who actually attended the event, in his letter said that it seemed like it was relatively quiet for 400 people. So there's there's a discrepancy there. That's all I have. We've just written and not even you know, accepted yet new camping regulations. How how does a you know can we look at how a hundred tents plays out on this? Would it fit? 
under our regulations? No, you, that's a, you're not. That's a campground. Yeah, that's a whole different. You're trying animal. to uh, under, separate uh, air and space, as when you have a overnight event, it can be five feet apart. I mean, that three thousand square foot space, you could fit. 15, 20 tents. Yeah, but we. Yeah, we're not trying to. We're not trying to provide an access a drive. No, all no, that. we're not. But but yeah, we established as a board. We decided that was a decent density for a campground. So right now, this isn't a campground, but for one night, it's a, you know people are camping here. How does that density translate to the number of tents they anticipate, or do? You know, or would a possibility be should we accept this? We set a maximum number based upon, hey, if we looked at this, you know, you really get X number of camp sites. Well, I can tell you how much square feet's there, and then figure out a tent. But you know, yeah, usable area. <clears throat> I think the question came up about fires too. So, are you allowing campfires on? I mean, how is this going to work? We have a bonfire, like a fire pit over by the tree. It's kind of a, I don't know if you guys remember the yellow building that you saw past the tree. There's a fire there. Okay, but what, what about the individual uh, camps? I mean, every so we, we have, like, have a little fire, fire rings that we can use to contain something, but ideally, like, we would just have a couple of central locations where those fires are. Fire is an issue, kind of. But... Obviously, it wouldn't help in bad weather. Dry and drought, you know, that kind of weather, it wouldn't be. Okay. I would imagine if they have tents out in the field, that somebody might be oh, yeah. interested in. Yeah. Has any kind of a traffic study been done out there? No. On the road? Yeah, your road. You know, for your traffic. Is this a, you know, what it can handle? I don't, I don't recall. I feel like, I mean, I know in zoning years ago, the name was changed, but all of the emergency services, you know, needed to have roads that actually. The well, traffic study would, would what the, right, road, what the roads can handle, not, yes, exactly. not, the, exactly. not the emergency. No, I realize, but I just, I'm trying to jog my memory. I don't recall, to be honest. Okay. That was one of our questions. Yeah, no, there's never been any traffic study okay. for those roads. No. no. Okay. So we have to wait on some of the questions to be answered. Okay. Any other questions, Commission, at this point? Open it to the public for questions and comments. I'd like to say something. I need your name, please, for the record. Danielle Kalashik, 68 Wildwood. Um, your name is Jim, sir? Is I'm Prairie. You? Which one's Jim? So, Jim and Jim. Well, we're both we're Jim. Both Jim. <laughs> That's why I guess. It. You do know what an open mic is, correct? The last meeting that we had here, after everybody was gone, you guys were caught on an open mic, being videotaped, saying, "We'll take a few things away, but we'll give them what they want." How is this going to be a fair, balanced, unbiased decision from this committee? If people are listening to a comment like that on a video that is air streamed, I thought this board, as taxpayers, this isn't supposed to happen. You guys are talking about camping. Go on the website. 400 people were there, not 100. These, these things that you're writing down are not even close to what the reality of what you're doing. It's not. Uh, you need to we, should, we need to be truthful about this. Go to the websites. Social media is a bad thing. It catches up with you. And uh, Open mic does also for this committee. Who, Jim is the one who said it. The, this either needs to go to another department or somebody else that is unbiased that is going to protect our community and us as taxpayers, we pay our taxes in this town hall to do the right thing. And being on an open mic with a statement like that, 
I think this is on the very wrong, wrong path because now the community knows what you guys are going to do. You're going to take a few things away from her. You said uh, it I, on I, an open I, mic. I, I just got to step in real quick because I, I, I like I don't know about the open mic incident and I, I don't know what people whisper on the other side of the room, but. I don't work with anybody here, and we haven't voted on anything. So, as, as a group, so I'm, I'm not yays, part of any individual not here. Not enough yay. Uh, if there's so um, many yays and not enough don't want it, it still yeah. passes. So that statement of take a few things away and give her what she wants. If we take a few things, they'll be happy, but we'll let it pass. That sets the pathway that you're going to let it go. You're going to take a few things away. We haven't decided on anything. Then why would you make a stick? Not you personally. I'm just saying. Go I'm back and watch your video of who said it, Jim. Why, why would you make a statement like that on an open mic in a public forum? Well, I can't answer that without actually hearing it. Then go back it. and watch the video. And then depending on Jim doesn't make, isn't a vote, doesn't, doesn't vote. So it's the commission. But he set the precedence for no. everybody who listened to him. You guys agreed to it. We didn't agree to anything yet. I didn't well, anything. you were in the conversation with him. We didn't him. agree to anything yet. We haven't finished You didn't agree to yet. it in public, but in your own mind, you already agreed to whatever, take a few things away, give her what she wants. If we take a few things away, the community will be happy. That's not the way that this is supposed to work. You're supposed to do what is right for the community and the people that live around this farm. It is a small farm, not a farm that should be having 400 people at an event with people peeing, urinating on other people's property for one event a year. Oh, it's only one event. You can deal with it for one event. That's not the way that this works. No, it isn't. But you guys are entertaining the fact that this is still going to happen. Let's just keep it to 100. We're not entertaining It hasn't been truthful from the beginning of how many people have actually been at that farm and what events have taken place at that farm. Nothing has been truthful. You can write anything you want down on a piece of paper. But when you live there and you see how many people are there and people are complaining about the noise, you know what? That's not what we have that community for, and that's not what we pay our taxes for. She gets a tax break. We get the burden of her being making 400 people at a small five- or six-acre farm. Barn fires, urinating, 60 toilets. Would you like that around your house? I'm sure those people on that back line that live on the border of that farm don't like that at all. I know I live two rows down from it. I don't like the idea of it either. So I think that this whole board should go back and listen to their open mic conversation from the last meeting. Whether you heard it or not, the public heard it. And that sets a precedence of what is happening here. That's what has gone on. And that's all I have to say. OK. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Lisa Hover, 100 Miles Wood Road. I'm not really clear on trying to listen. I don't know if we had access to the revised list of events. We just we just got it. And I, we, didn't have, we didn't get to see that, so we don't have an opinion on it. Um, but I'm trying to listen and absorb everything that you're trying to pull out of it for information and all your questions and that we're still revisiting the Nor'easter at all. But it always comes back to it. it's an athletic event. And if you're still revisiting the Nor'easter and it looks at to be wanting public parking on Chapu property that is leased by Savitsky, Alex Savitsky, he's not allowed to sublet that property. Read the whole deed. And I wish they brought it with me. I had nine copies ready to hand out to you all, but I didn't think it was going to be an event. But if you read that, He's not allowed to sublet his, he's in violation of that lease if he does so. He can't say, go ahead and park on my property. A, it's not agricultural to park on the property. The lease itself, the original lease, and then it was absorbed by the 2012, 
again, and refers to the original lease, it's used for agriculture. So to park all those vehicles, this access, that access, you're driving in, you're driving around the field, it's not agriculture. And, it's, and if it's for the nor'easter, then, then we have to reflect on the, every reason why the nutmeg nor'easter, for all of its sober camping, isn't for our community. We're a densely populated community. One of three in this town, and we are one of them, right next to two farms. We've been cohabitating until now. This, this influx of, of wanting uh, what happened in 2021, we don't want it anymore. We don't want it. But there are rules in place. And before this goes across the selectman's desk to whether we're going to allow parking or not allow parking on Chagru property, there's 6.8 acres of a farm. There's plenty of farms in town that do their agritourism on their farm. It's wonderful. Do that. But when you start going into Chagru property, now we're talking about breaking a lease, somebody violating his lease, and it is an agriculture. There are so many reasons why we're not, or we shouldn't, be using any of that Chagru property <coughs> for these events. Events of agritourism on 6.8 acres makes sense to me. This doesn't. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I, I just, my name is Lori Dvorak, um, 124 Wildwood Road. I just want to uh, expound a little bit on sure. what uh, Ms. Elmer has said. The, the actual deed, um, when the Chagru property was sold or to the town, actually says agricultural only. And then the uh, lease to Mr. Savitsky for 10 years uh, also stipulates what is in, in the deed to the town saying for agricultural only. It's on Schedule A. Look on Schedule A, it's number three. It's very specific. And I don't think putting vehicles on all the town property is, is uh, environmentally friendly, if you will. Um, and it certainly isn't agricultural, and, and neither is camping. So it's, you know, it's, it is it is what was deeded to the town. So the town has a responsibility to follow the deed, and allowing Mr. Savitsky to uh, lease is wonderful for his farming and agriculture. However, it does say that that's what it is for. Okay. And so, let, yes, thank you. Yes, sir. So, Sable 15 Lookout Drive. Um, it's a working farm. We get it. Want her to have success up there. Want them to have success up there. This camping stuff is just, you know, walk out tomorrow when you're walking around in a parking lot. Look at the oil and the stuff that's in your parking lot from the cars. Yeah, it's a one time event. How much seeping into the ground over there on the fields that they're hanging and giving to the animals? Um, and again, this camping, I understand it's only tents. Maybe. That's what I heard here tonight. Maybe tents. You're not even sure. Um, it, it, the roads up there are narrow. They're hazardous as it is. We can't have golf carts because they're, they're hazardous up there. And you want to have a bunch of these cars coming in and out of there. Well, we already have trouble up there with the police not responding to us, what we call. Um, it, it just, you know, I, again, school stuff, all that, all those, the wedding, even a wedding, you know, I, I, small weddings, I get it. This camping thing is just blowing my brain out. Um, because again, I heard that there was 100, 100 tents, but 400 people? You're telling me these people aren't peeing out in those lots, crapping out in them lots, throwing their garbage all over. They might be cleaning it up. God bless them. But it's still, ha you, know, you, know what's, you know what's happening. You know what's happening out there. And then the fires. That's a big concern, is a fire. Um, God. The car's parked on it. You know how long it takes for the police and the ambulance and the fire department to get up there without all them people? 
compounding. Again, I am just here just basically for the camping end of it. Might be only one event, but how, when does it become two events or three events? I don't want to see any events like that uh, up there. It's a quiet neighborhood. Um, the farm is a farm. I go up there, I support the farm. Um, it's The camping is just blowing me away. And the fires are scary, it will scare me. The leakage of the vehicles, the urination and of people bodily fluids all over the place. It's my concern. And the traffic, obviously. And again, you guys don't even know what's going up there. Um, as far as tents, campers, trucks. I mean, already I heard a comment made about the shower truck. Somebody said it's a big truck. I don't want a big truck. You know, <laughs> you know, unless they're coming in from the back way, we don't want them coming in through the lake. But that's all I have. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Janice Fuller. Can you speak up? Janice Fuller, 10 Lookout Drive. We've been told there's a fire at the lake. You're lucky if you have a foundation. You have fire, fires up at, up the hill from us. The campers, come on, give me a freaking break. This is ridiculous. That's all I got to say. Ma'am? You might have to walk up here because I can't hear you. I apologize. <clears throat> Hi, Evelyn Payson, Thank you. 327 Lakeshore. Um, my concern is how what is happening at the farm is going to affect our properties at the lake. We have had issues over the last few years with people coming in and using our facilities, parking in our lots, and when we have asked people to leave that don't have a hang tag, and we have volunteers that do that, um, we've had a few confrontations with the police that have to be called. Um, I don't think people understand that it's private, and we pay dues and taxes, maintain our properties, um, there's also the issue of traffic. I was on the beach last year when I saw 200 bicycles come down Town Road, hit that five-way intersection, Lakeshore, Ridgewood, Lookout, Town Road. Not one of them stopped at that stop sign. They all just came flying down and took the left to go down Lake Hayward Road. Um, I take my life in my hands. Every time I come out of my driveway, I'm at the north end of the lake. I have to put my windows down, shut my heat off, shut my radio off, and listen to hear people coming around that corner. Um, I really think a traffic study needs to be done, but I also think we have the right to protect our property, and maybe a police presence is needed when these events are happening so that we don't have to get into confrontations with people that are trying to use our facilities. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. John Gilmore, 203 Lakeshore Drive. I don't want to repeat some of the things that other folks have said. Time is important to you. But I think we all patronize the farm. I think we all want the farm to succeed. But I think the troubling thing here is they're doing it on town <coughs> property that's under lease. And I wonder what the compatible uses are that are identified in the deed. Has Corporation Council looked at this, made a determination on what is a compatible use? Last month they submitted a list of activities. I think there was a total of 11. I guess there's been some amendment to that, which many of us have seen. But who needs to read through them? Winter harvest, spring fling, summer on the farm, fall on the farm festival, winter fun at the farm, stargazing night, <coughs> summer, <coughs> farm dinners and music. I don't think any of us have a problem. <coughs> At least I don't. I don't want to speak for everyone here. But how in the world is small weddings? and nutmeg nor'easter, 
an agricultural event just because they say they're going to have a discussion on agriculture. I don't think that cuts it. And I think this is a for-profit event, and the town gets nothing out of it except trouble. So I think the commission needs to take a harder look at the uses and whether those are agricultural in nature and whether it's appropriate. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Ken Bodner, 134 Wildwood. Um, I, I, I have traffic safety concerns for, for that area. If even one car were to be parked on the side of that road, you will not get a fire truck and emergency equipment by it. Never mind if they're lying at all on that road, either direction, if you had an east car or west. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, Sable 15 Lookout Drive. Um, I'm, second time I've heard of a, a traffic study. I know what a traffic study is. How is it determined when it's going to be done? I guess would be my question. Um, I know you put the strips in the road and it counts the cars, I believe. Um, do, you, do you do it in the middle of the winter when nobody's there? Or do you do it, you know, spring, summer, fall? I, when do you do it? When is it done, I guess? Well, who decides who does it? There are adjustments that can be made to traffic studies to normalize them. So a traffic study done during a school year has a different read than one during the summer. Right. ITE gives us traffic adjustments to bring to normalize that. The one time you don't do traffic studies is the holiday season from Thanksgiving to Christmas because that gets skewed. And it's skewed beyond, it's skewed, there's not a normalization to the skew. I can't say, oh, you know, school's not in, in session, so it's 80% of the traffic. It is, there's a, you know, a Walmart down the road, it's 120% of the traffic, and I don't know that. So that's the only time that they're excluded, that and holidays. That's just, uh, like I said, it's hard. That's, you know, do the traffic study when they're having a nor'easter up there. <laughs> yeah. Well, but that's, you know, then the nor'easter has a set number of, you know, so there's 400 participants. Right. We know how many cars that generates. We can then generate how many trips that is. Yeah, like I said, it's just it's right. a concern of mine. What yeah. it's going to be done, I just... If it is, you're right. If it is, right. No, but yeah. If it, yes, so, if it's, go if it's even going to be done. That's how they do traffic stuff. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Or a question, Corinne Halliday, 271 Haywardville Road. Could you take a minute and just tell us now how this now moves forward and how we will know, like, whether you shorten your list of things? Like, at, at what point are you going to make your recommendation? And then I think you maybe told us this last meeting, but I don't remember. And then the steps it goes through again real quickly? Or Well, we all have questions. We have questions that staff still has to answer for us. You guys have still brought up other questions. There are some questions that were brought up in some letters um, about the deeds and so on and so forth. I, don't, I want to get my hands on them and look at them. Um, what do we have, one more public hearing or two? Well, under the, under the statutes, the public hearing can run 35 days, so we could continue it to November 14th. Only the applicant could grant an extension of that point. So what did I say, the 14th? It's not the 14th. It'll be the... Uh, 22nd, 22nd. 65 days? Well, to make a decision. You have 65 days to make it. 65 days to hold the public hearing, 35 days to run the public hearing, so 65 November what? days to take 22nd. So right, so the, our, to our next meeting would be the, la, the last public hearing Public we hearing have. part, yes. Right. So our next and meeting, the time runs out for the, for the public hearing, but we don't have, we have 65 days to make a decision after that to gather our information. To, uh, we can't get any more information uh, other than through staff and council. And that's going to who next? The recommendation? Board of Selectmen? No, to us. That would be a, us publicly de deliberating over this decision. But you're not publicly And then we would send it to who? the first Selectman's okay. office. Okay. Well, we make our decision and then, yeah, then it goes to them. Okay. If. Okay. If, 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 we decide. Right, if we decide on it, we could yeah. deny it with deny it. Okay. You know, we still have we have a lot to go through at that point. Um, any more questions, comments at this point? Yes, sir, in the back. Tony Bukeri, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, sir. Tony Bukeri, 
Tony Bukeri, 98 Lakeshore Drive. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to reiterate anything all that was said earlier. I think my question from the last meeting, I'm hoping we get there at some point. Um, the, the, the Town of East Haven's Plan of Conservation and Development report that was published August 27th, 2019, how potential approval of this aligns with what was published in that report. Right, I have that down as a question. Any other questions for me? One more question. Yes, ma'am. Really easy. So you have all these questions that we've asked or that others have asked. Do those questions get answered publicly, like in the next hearing? Yes. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we're going to make sure that they're all answered. That's why I was hoping that some of them had been answered, yes. Great. But, I mean, the answers will come out. I mean, we'll talk about it. We won't go into executive session for any of this. But we don't issue a formal response to all the questions. Right, well, but we don't answer. Exactly. No. So be here, hear it, or, do, or don't hear it, basically. I guess, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. And the next, Phil Sable, uh, 15 look out, and the next meeting is the 22nd? Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, the applicant can ask to extend it as she felt or if they felt that they would like to, uh, if they wanted more input, if they needed to bring anything in. Um, but at that point, we can't extend it. Only the, the applicant can. Yeah, okay. And it'll be published on the website, I would assume, if it's transferred? <coughs> yes. Okay. I guess I would uh, oh, sorry. entertain a motion. One more question. One more question. Oh. Eat the water. So the new information that we all didn't see tonight, is that going on the website? The, the, the information that you got from no. the applicant? No, that's, going to, that's going to be entered at the public hearing at the 22nd. Oh. <laughs> the information that you all got tonight? No, you're talking oh, about that, oh that'll go on the web page. That but will. You're talking she, about the, the, new, she, the new list of events. events. Yeah. 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 That's already been here. That'll go. Well, that, yeah. that yeah. event sheet was submitted right. today at 3.30. Yeah. <coughs> that'll go on the website. Yes. Okay, anyone else? I take a motion to continue this to our next public hearing, which is November 22nd. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just for the record, nothing came on the. Okay. Any other business? Yeah. Eddie's not here. Uh, motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Any all in favor? Aye. Any opposed?